Tonight we want to take you beyond the headlines and give you a first-hand account of life in another country dealing with a growing Muslim insurgency. That country is Somalia in East Africa. And for that viewpoint, we are joined by one of the few independent journalists working there. He is Mustafa Haji Abdenor. He is a radio journalist and a reporter for the French news agency AFP. He's also being awarded the International Press Freedom Award presented by the Committee to Protect Journalists. Congratulations on the award. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. We have this impression in this country that life in Somalia is total chaos and killing and bloodshed. And I'm wondering, is there a daily life that still goes on despite all of this? Yes, there is a life going on in the other way. Uh, people do live their own life, just like you are living here in America. Uh, but we still have the chaos. The life we have is different than the life you are having here. It's a chaos life, but we will do go to their own businesses. So they get up in the morning, they go to work, the children go to school, people go to market? Of course they do. So are these just bad parts of town you try to avoid? Or tell us how the violence erupts. Uh, so we have no uh, one part or a particular part in the war, in the town that we can say is uh, safer than the other part. It depends on how things are happening. When clashes broke out, you have to save. You have to stay safe. If you are in your house, you will remain. If you are out, you have to look for a place you can get protected. You know? People have trained themselves. Of course, of mm. course, just like uh, military. What about uh, families leaving? Have a lot of people left, fled the city? Well, uh, in the past years, uh, there has been a flex of uh, people in, in Somalia, particularly in the capital, Mogadishu. Most of the families left to the town and they live outside, in, in, in the displacement camps, uh, camps outside the city. We have heard a great deal in this country about various terrorist organizations, those that might want to do harm against the United States, using the lawlessness of Somalia as a place to establish themselves. In other words, they don't fear being hunted down. Have you seen evidence of that? Uh, n really, we have, you know, uh, escalating violence in Somalia between the TFG and the opposition groups. So we get some points that there might be some foreign fighters who are helping the opposition groups. The TFG, fighting. just the so people know. The, the, the transitional national government of Somalia. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we have some groups who are helping the, 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 the opposition parts that are fighting the government and the African peacekeepers here. But we don't clearly see it really, and uh, we cannot say uh, actually who is fighting and who, in a way. You don't see, say, terrorist organizations establishing bases? No. We yeah. are. What is life like for a journalist there? How easily can you operate and do your job? Uh, it's really very difficult uh, to work as a journalist in Somalia, particularly this time, because this year alone we lost uh, around six journalists in Mogadishu. So it's just like uh, you sacrifice if you like to do journalism in Somalia, because you know something bad is going to happen to you or to your colleague or just uh, maybe uh, some other journalists, you know, out in city. Is there so, control? Are you? Uh, carefully edited as to what is said? Uh, we, we have, you know, uh, around 11 radio stations in the capital, Mogadishu, independent FM radio stations, and three babies, and also two televisions so far stationed in the capital. So uh, we have our, our own editorial policy, but you always keep away from something that you think might bring trouble to you. Uh, it's just like you have been overseen by the uh, political stakeholders of the country. Mustafa Abdenor, thank you very much for your reporting and thank you for talking You're with welcome. us. You're welcome.